class we were going to learn how we can run or debug the functions which we have developed with the help of VS code. So before starting ahead we have to make sure we install this Azure functions code tools in our local computer before going ahead with debugging the functions code locally. Now in order to install that we had seen in detail in our previous classes how to install the same with the help of npm command. So make sure you have the latest node.js running on your computer then you have to use this command in order to install the Azure functions code tool. At the time of recording this class version 4 is the latest Azure function code tool available. Once you have successfully installed next is we can test or debug the functions locally with the help of VS code. Let's see how to do that now. Go to the VS code. Now in order to test or debug the code what we have to do is we have to go to this run and click on this start debugging. So if you have not previously installed the Azure core tools it will prompt you to install. As you can see it is running our functions in the 7071 port as we had seen in our previous class that 7071 will be the default port where the functions will run. Now like any other debugger tool VS code will provide us the step in step out and the step over functionalities over here as well as we can disconnect from this debugger. Now we can make use of this URL and we can test our code let's use this browser and paste it over here. So as we didn't pass any name it is saying a default message wherein it is asking us to pass the name in the query parameter. Let's now pass the name here let me provide the name as binum. If you pass the name in the query parameter it will send back the customized message. I have disconnected this debugger mode from here. Let me just go back to this Azure click on the functions over here. Now like any other debugger tool we can add the breakpoint in our code. Now let me just open this index.json file and add the breakpoint over here that is by clicking over here. Now what we will do is we will go to run and click on the start debugging. So it will start our functions app in the port 7071. So we can click on this run and debug. So it will open the variables and all. Now let me just trigger this function. Copy this from here and paste it over here. Click on enter. Now let's go back to the VS code. As we have added the breakpoint over here it is showing the variables at each section. Let me just drag this over here. We had seen in our previous module this context parameter will hold the details of the request response log and other details. You can have a look over here what end all details this context parameter will hold. What we will do is we will click on this step over and we will execute our code. Now it has come over here in the next section. Now we can just step over to the last end. So we have completely executed this request. Now if you see in the browser it is showing the generic message what we get. So like this we can debug or run our functions code with the help of breakpoints and we can see what and all variable data it holds at every stage of line. Now let me just disconnect. In our next class we will see how we can publish our functions app to Azure.